Welcome to Flexor by Camerivox. This video shows the use of Flexor, a unified communications application compatible with Microsoft Dynamics. This slide shows the key benefits of Flexor. Flexor is a simple to use but powerful software product that connects telephony systems to CRM applications. It doesn't require a server, so it's perfectly suited to businesses of all sizes who want to immediately enjoy the benefits it provides. In this video, we visit a fictitious organisation called Solandi to see how they might use Flexor. Solandi's head office uses a TAPI compliant phone system and the sales team use Microsoft Dynamics. Some users might also work from home or be on the road and use Skype or VoIP phones when away from the office. All employees use Flexor because even though they might not be in sales, the organisation benefits as a whole from the unification features of Flexor. Now let's look more closely at Flexor. Flexor is quickly and easily installed on each user's PC. It doesn't require any server software and integrates seamlessly with Microsoft Dynamics. It is also quick and easy to connect to your telephone system. The main window of Flexor is called On Screen and shows your organisation at a glance. You can see it here on the left of the screen. It shows your status, allows you to click to dial or divert calls, maintain a list of favourites, have instant message conversations and view the status and activities of all your colleagues. Another key window of Flexor is the call summary window. This window appears whenever a call is received or made and is in the bottom right of the desktop in this clip. The call summary window shows the details of the caller and information such as the called ID and IVR information. Call controls such as hold and transfer are accessed from this window and can be used alongside normal manual use of the phone. Access to the CRM system is also enabled from the call summary window. Now let's see Flexor in use in our fictitious company called Solandi. We are going to look at a new employee called Jane and see how she benefits from using Flexor. Jane is a sales agent and she gets a call from a new prospect who hasn't been in contact with the company before and is not in their database. In the example, she will capture the lead and confirm some details with a colleague using instant messaging. Jane is working in Microsoft Dynamics and is about to receive the call. The call summary window appears for the new lead. She can see the caller ID of the caller, but the caller is not in the company's CRM database, so Flexor can only show certain details about the call. However, the called ID shows the main Solandi line, and the IVR details show the inquiries about Solandi's Solex 4000 product. She can answer the call manually using the phone, or by clicking on the Answer Call button in the call summary window. On speaking to the caller, sure enough, the caller is inquiring about the Solex 4000 product. Jane decides to create a new record in the CRM database for this new lead and opens the record using the Flexor's call summary window. In this fictitious example, the caller is phoning from Microsoft. Although no record for Microsoft is in Solandia's database, Flexor has managed to look up the number on the internet and found certain details. When details are found, this icon appears and Jane can click to examine the detail. She can see where the caller is based, helping build a better rapport, and can examine the detail of the company. She now completes the record for the lead in Microsoft Dynamics, giving it a title, entering the caller's name, Bob Brewster, and copying the address from the internet lookup. Flexor has already populated the phone number field. With the details taken and the record created, Jane continues to talk to the customer. Jane is new to her job, and the customer asks a pricing question. Jane isn't sure about the answer but can use Flexor Chat to quickly confirm pricing with her manager. Without letting on to the customer that Jane had to refer to a colleague, Jane confirms the pricing for five units of the Solex 4000. She tells the customer the pricing and makes a note in Microsoft Dynamics. When the call is over, Jane can hang up using either Flexor or her phone. On this occasion, she hangs up using Flexor and the call summary window automatically closes. This slide provides a summary of how Flexor helped in the scenario we've just seen. In a moment, we're going to see Jane using Flexor to make an outbound call. The next day, Jane is going through her list of current leads and calls Bob back using click to dial She collects feedback from Bob and is also going to need to transfer Bob to a support engineer to answer a technical question. Jane begins by finding Bob in Microsoft Dynamics. She can view Bob's account and can remind herself of the customer history. Then she makes the call by clicking on the phone number in Microsoft Dynamics. 
Jane talks to the customer who explains all is well and they expect to be making a purchase soon. Jane decides to take some notes about the call in Microsoft Dynamics by clicking the journal button in the call summary window of Flexor. During the conversation, the customer has a technical question about the product. Jane explains that the customer is best to talk to a technical support engineer. The customer is happy to be transferred, so Jane uses Flexor on screen to find a free support engineer. She does a consultative transfer so that she can speak to the engineer first before putting the customer through. Transfers are very straightforward in Flexor and are done using drag and drop. The call is made to technical support. Jane explains the situation and technical support are happy to take the call. So Jane completes the transfer and drops out of the call, connecting the customer to technical support. Finally, she saves her comments in Microsoft Dynamics. This slide provides a summary of how Flexor helped in the scenario we've just seen. In a moment, we're going to see what happens when Bob calls Jane back. The next day, Bob calls Jane back and wants to place an order. Jane is going to have to check credit terms with her manager, Annie, but Annie is working from home. The call comes in and Flexor shows the caller's details from Microsoft Dynamics in the call summary window. Jane clicks to answer the call in the call summary window and also uses Flexor to access Bob's full contact details in Microsoft Dynamics. While talking to Bob, Jane reminds herself of Bob's call history. She can see the full history of calls made and received to Bob. Using Flexor, she creates a new call record in Dynamics for this call. Bob wants to do a deal, but wants some non-standard credit terms. Jane must check with her manager, Annie, that this is OK, so she puts Bob on hold. Jane uses Flexor on screen to see if her manager is available and sees that Annie is working from home today. It's an important deal. So Jane decides to call Annie at home on her VoIP line. Flexor now shows two calls, one for Bob who is on hold and one for Annie. Annie confirms the credit terms are acceptable. So Jane ends the call with Annie and reconnects to Bob. Jane is happy to tell Bob all is okay and they do the deal. She says goodbye to Bob and clicks to end the call. Finally, she saves her notes in Microsoft Dynamics. This slide provides a summary of how Flexor helped in the scenario we've just seen. Now we are going to leave Jane, and in a moment we're going to see how her manager Annie benefits from Flexor too. Jane's manager is Annie. Annie is working from home today using VoIP telephony. Flexor can mix and match phone systems and work anywhere on the internet. So when Annie uses Flexor from home, she appears as part of the organisation, just as if she was on a tappy phone in the office. Annie is working from home today, so sets her Flexor status accordingly. She is pleased with how her new employee Jane is working out, but wants to keep an eye on Jane just in case she can be of help. The easiest way for Annie to do this is to search for Jane in the on-screen window and drag Jane to her favourites. She'll be able to see Jane's activities in real time, and in particular, whenever Jane is on a call. For instance, Annie can see when Jane phoned Microsoft in our earlier example. Not only does Flexor show Annie that Jane is on the phone, it shows who she is on the phone to and even gives direct access to her CRM system to view all the detail. At the top of Annie's on-screen window is a status area showing what her colleagues see about her status. What she sees is what they get. This is a very convenient way to see at a glance what others can see about yourself. But if Annie needs to make a private call, she can enable invisible mode, which temporarily hides all details about a user's status from all other users. In the same way, Annie can change her status to show she is busy or out to lunch and so forth. This slide provides a summary of how Flexor helped in the scenario we've just seen. This concludes our brief overview of Flexor. We only really covered its main features and the behaviour of Flexor is very configurable and has many options. It can be tailored to meet all users' needs and is suitable for all roles within an organisation. It is particularly useful to heavy users of telephony, but the unification features become even more powerful when all colleagues are on Flexor. Thank you for watching this demonstration video. For more information on Flexor, please go to CameraVox's website where you can find out about pricing and also download a free trial to start using Flexor today.